Hey guys, it's Katie Taylor, and I have been absent on here for a little while. I actually um, got to present at Close to My Heart's virtual convention, and so I spent several weeks creating with super secret products that will come out in August. And so I've just kind of been resting after those few weeks of just creating and creating. So I thought I would share some older videos. Now, this is a two-page layout from one of the album retreats, actually, from a couple of years ago. If you aren't familiar with our album retreats, we have them twice a year. They are virtual. You purchase the entire kit. You get exclusive stamp sets. You get pre-cut layout kits. That's what makes this layout come together. Together so quickly. So you can see here, I've pulled out my Versa mat and I am just lining up these pre cut pieces. I love that wood grain. It's almost like a herringbone. They're going to meet in the middle and then we are going to put some um, photo place mats um, here and there using pattern paper and cardstock. So this is one of the exclusive stamp sets that came with that October 2020 album retreat. So I'm just stamping off these uh, little leaves a couple of times in New England Ivy and I believe Fern. And then there is a smaller leaf pattern that I'm going to also stamp off. And then I am going to fussy cut those. Now, the good thing about these exclusive stamp sets is, um, number one, they're exclusive. Number two, they just go perfectly with these layouts. And believe it or not, this one probably was one of my favorites. I actually used it for some Christmas cards as well as some other Christmas layouts. So you can see here I am fussy cutting. If you are new to this channel, I prefer leaving a white border around my images when I fussy cut. It makes them look more like stickers and then it also is very forgiving if you tend to mess up like I do sometimes. And then also rotate your paper and not your stickers. Again, um, subscribe to this channel and sign up for notifications and you'll see more of my fussy cutting tips and tricks in the future. So I'm just going to finish these off. I am going to cut out most of the fussy cutting so you don't have to watch that. But I am fussy cutting these out and then we will use that on the two page layouts. Now is a good time to remind you if you are liking what you see so far, I know it's pretty early in the video, but go ahead and click that like button. It helps YouTube show you more of the same and then it also helps my channel out. So now we are going to start the photo mat process. I am going to be inking up most of these photo mats with New England Ivy ink. Now, if you haven't heard already, New England Ivy ink is one of our oldest colors, but it will be retiring. So I'll leave links down below to it if you are a fan of it. I just love it. It's just such a good green color. I'm going to dovetail these small little pieces and again make sure I go ahead and sponge some of that ink on that little dovetail. And then I am going to start laying these down. Now because this is a layout, um, you can... Um, on these album retreats, it does give you suggested photo sizes. I prefer to just leave them blank and then I actually add my photos later. So you'll see me actually assembling these layouts with our photo place, place card holders. So we've got a couple of four by six, a couple of three by fours, and then even a four by four, I believe. This stamp sentiment comes from the most wonderful time of the year. It is on sale, part of our Stamptacular sale. Unfortunately, um, today is Wednesday the 29th. That sale only goes through the end of June, so only through tomorrow, Thursday, June 30th. But I'll leave a link down below if you want to grab it. Super, super cute stamp set. And then also, um, because it's on sale, it's just at a great, great price. So here I'm going to be adding the photo mats to that right layout. You can see there, there is a four by six and then a four by four cut out of some of that pattern paper. Now I do not know if there are um, any more of these uh, paper and sticker kits. I'll leave a link down below if they are. Right now my website's going under maintenance, so I really couldn't, uh, couldn't check that for you beforehand. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest of these photo place card holders. And then I am taking this quarter inch piece of white daisy cardstock. 
applying some liquid adhesive, and then those will be my journal strips. Now, when using journal strips, it's really easy to just kind of stagger those under one of your main photos or off to the right. Um, this would be wonderful off to the right where I'm sticking that littlest one. Just any place where you kind of just have a blank spot. So you can see I'm pulling out my sticker sheet, taking off the sticky using my anti-static pouch, and then adding some foam adhesive. So the majority of this layout, um, as far as adding more flowers from the most wonderful time of the year, was done off camera. So I'm going to share some still shots with you. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you how it's done, but those were thin cuts. And then here is a look at that stamp set. Again, part of the Stamptacular cell. And then I also added some stickles on top and then kind of used those stickles to create those variegated leaves. And then various uh, 3D foam tape. And that finished off the layout pretty nicely. I'll leave links down to that Stamptacular cell as well as any of the other products that I used. And like I mentioned before, if you aren't already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications so you won't miss another crafty video. Again, I'll have another really, really short video to share with you in the next day or so. And then we will dive right into brand new product from the July, August, and September catalog that goes live July 1st. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. Have a great week.